I'm not gonna lie, I don't know anything about this car other than the fact that it is electric. Okay, hypercars have entered the chat. We got one, two, three Senna's. I'm seeing too many nice cars. He's back! What's He's back on, in another back. episode of the vlog. It's about that time again. What is up? We are out here in Beverly Hills, California for probably my favorite car show ever. This is Sunset GT. This is where you go and you casually see Koenigseggs and Paganis and other hyper cars. Today, we are guaranteed at least three one-off Senna's. I've brought Yana here because hey. we're slowly turning her YouTube channel into a car channel. But anyway, we're you guys already done. see some sick cars <laughs> pulling in, so let's go check it out. Porsche Nation coming in strong. The GT2 RS. I've shot that car before. I use it Cars and Jets and the GT4. As of yesterday, this car has officially hit my radar because I have a lot of time in the GT2 RS, but yesterday or day before, O'Gara gave me a GT4 to drive in the rain. It was black and we took some photos. Okay, so when I said Porsche game is starting off strong, we got the 918 here parked all by itself. But look, check it out on the other side. We got pista number one. And number two, if you guys follow World Star, you'll probably recognize this from my boy Pay to Shoot. We're shooting rollers with this car out on PCH. Kind of dope to see it in person. This color is nuts. Okay, hypercars have entered the chat. We have the Koenigsegg Agera RS, you guys. And I'm freaking out because, well, even though this is a world record car, we got a Ford GT that just pulled in over there. We got one, two, three Senna's and the Bugatti. I'm seeing too many nice cars pulling in right now. Group and all the McLarens over here. I see a familiar face. Nick with Carpage. His car has been on the channel before. This is his 600 LT, complete with the snorkel on top. It's the Speedy Greedy. And L. What's up, G? What's up? Yo, from the Coming in Clutch show. I recognize this guy. Hey guys, it's Yana. I'm taking over the vlog. Let me show you some of my favorite cars. We have this white Bugatti. I just think it's really pretty. That's the extent of my knowledge. We have apparently the fastest car in the world. So that's pretty cool. It's a pink and blue Bugatti. So we got this familiar car from the last vlog. This is Gigi's GT3, which Yana did not ride in. Ella rode in that one, but she absolutely ripped it on the track next to this wide body AMG GTR. This is nuts this is so overkill but i love it and the paint on it also looks custom but i still think this is a sicker wrap so you win gg speaking of sick wraps gg you might have some competition because this porsche pulling in right here definitely has something special protective film solutions coming in hot with the gt3 rs these three cars are special because they are done by RDB LA, which is like my number one recommendation for a place to take your car if you need work done in LA. They got the wide body Urus and the Ferrari uh, 48s. Um, this one also wide body. They tried to save my Mustang. This is how dope these guys are. The insurance company quoted at least $13,000 to save my last Mustang when it got totaled and RDB was like, nah, we'll hook it up for eight, which was still not cheap enough for the insurance to not total it, but like that's the difference in price of them being able to try to help me out. So um, if your car breaks down in LA, if you want custom work, if you want to wrap, whatever it is, RDB's the move. Okay, out of every single car here, this is the best one. Carbon fiber, wheels, the retro looking, lights ladies and gentlemen you can't get better than than all american the funny thing about sunset gt is that they don't allow cars in that they don't sell so that means that if you show up in something really nice if it's not like an exotic brand like porsche or lamborghini or ferrari or something they will literally turn you away at the door look at the wrap on this one tell me what you guys think with the pink and chrome blue combo yana what do you think of the the bugatti wrap here I love this one, it's so pretty. Okay, compared to the two best wrap cars that we've seen so far is uh, Gigi's and Protective Film Solutions Rainbow Porsche that came in. So between those three cars, who has the best wrap? The Bugatti does? Yeah, what definitely. do you What do you think so far of the show? Not, okay, so Yana walked in and, and funny <laughs> story, she was standing over by the Agera RS and like had no idea what was going on over there. And like, to be honest, like most of these cars like She's like a clean slate. Like every car is first impression to her. So not knowing what these cars can do or which ones are, are well known or not, what, what stands out to you? 
um, why well, I like this Bugatti and the white Bugatti over there that has like the swoop design on yes. it. Yes. So I'm a designer, so I'm coming from that background. So like I notice the cars that I think look the most appealing. The like, works of like, art, the works of art yeah. out here. Because I feel like car design is art. When you are more creative with your design, whether it's in the design of the car or the wrap or the spec or whatever it is, there's ways to stand out mm -hmm. and um, and it's catching her attention. So Bugatti, you win today. The boy Speedy Guidi was telling us about this car. Oh, it's the... Yeah, whatever that is. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know anything about this car other than the fact that it is electric and that Speedy Guidi drove it in. And that's all I know. Okay, familiar Lamborghini Performante. We've seen this one many times and speaking of cars we've seen many times. Blue Beauties. Where's David? Normally he's within 10 feet of his car. There he is, of course, within a few feet of the car. He's next to another blue Lamborghini, go figure. What's up, Blue Beauties? Hey, How are you? How, how are, are you, you family and friends? Yo, I was like, normally he's like within 10 feet of his car yelling at people for sitting on the hood. Well, but I saw this, I saw just... this, this twin here, but it's it's a wrap, so. It's not, right, it's let, not true. That's a wrap. This, is, this car a wrap. sits on a throne of lies. Okay, uh, let's take a minute and just appreciate the wheels on this Lamborghini really fast. Those look so good. On the Huracan Evo, this might be the first time I've seen an Evo up close. And I'm not gonna lie, it's a little tricky to tell the difference between this and a Huracan. If you know the difference between this and a Huracan, another Evo, let me know. Because I would like to be able to tell. Let's see what we got. Is this a Huracan? This is a Huracan. Okay, so looking at the two from the back, I guess the Evo, it's easy to tell because the exhaust pipes look kind of like a Performante. And I guess the difference between this and a perf is that this doesn't have the Italian stripes on the back. And then of course they've got these signature wheels. Well, what happens when you put on some wheels like this? Then I'm really thrown off, so I don't know. I don't know. All I do know is that the perf is still God. The perf from Monte is still the dopest car that I've ever driven. And I think that still holds true today. Also, this is the very first Sunset GT that I have shown up to and not arrived in an exotic car. And this is First one I've ever been to. First one she's ever been to. Used to work for a company where I could grab any car out of their garage and bring it to the show. And one thing I really like to do was let as many people sit in it as possible. And it was really fun because a lot of these cars, people don't even let you like touch them. So I would like look out for like little kids and let them sit in the driver's seat of whatever I was in, which for a lot of them like to sit inside of a Ferrari was a big deal because I remember the first time I saw an exotic car and I asked to sit in it and the guy was like, absolutely not. And I felt really bad and I remember that to this day. So um, if I ever do come back in another exotic, I will be letting as many people sit in as possible, especially kids, because that stuff leaves an impact. Thank you to my secret plug for handing me this. I don't know if you want to be shouted out, but I needed some close-up footage of the Senna. So much carbon fiber. The Rasta colors. We got the green and the yellow. The unnecessary window on the door. Look at this interior. Carbon fiber for days. A work of art. The Brazilian color combo, I'm digging it. Senna number two, the British edition. Red, white, and blue. Check out the speaker on the door right there, that's nice. Blue leather interior with the touch screen right there. I wonder if this car is equally as complicated to operate as the 720S is. Look at the size of the intake on this nose. And then uh, what country is this? Whatever that is. I'm gonna look really stupid because I don't know what flag that is. Oh man. I love the country theme on these three Senna's. This is awesome. Parting the seas on its way to Jamba Juice. The La Ferrari. What an entrance. Ella, if you're watching, this is the car that we need to take next. That is the one car that I have not been able to get access to. I feel like you get any Ferrari, but La Ferrari is just untouchable for some reason. There's not enough of them. I only I associate you guys together. Now that you're famous and you have a podcast and a Jeez. show called Coming in Clutch, LA Car Spot, you guys know them, and the Speedy Weedy. Make sure you guys are following them. There, You know what? Forget everybody I told you to follow <laughs> today. Literally forget all of them. Only follow these two, okay? Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's back. What's He's back on, in another back. episode of the vlog. 
We're just gonna keep putting you in the vlog yeah, until we can finally so shoot. Fill up your 10 minute uh, ad revenue booster. Until we can finally <laughs> shoot your car. Parker, do, where's your car? Right down there. Way down in the corner. We'll get it in a but second. But it's dirty, so we gotta get it washed and, and really Bilco approved. But it's rained like every day for the yeah. last like two weeks, so everybody's cars are dirty, so no worries. You had a shoot recently. How yeah. did that go? How did that go? What did I shoot? The, the one you were shooting, uh, Rolls Royce. You had a Rolls oh, Royce. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you no, had your good. Ferrari and you had a McLaren. Yeah. You, you're just like, you're baiting me. I'm just going to show you. I'm just gonna show up at your house. Just, and just show like, up. Shoot all these photos. So I'm stoked. All right, more to come with vehicle versions for sure. We're headed to Pierce event. We got about 10 cars in the cruise. We'll see if we can get some footage of that or not, but it's going to be a lot of fun to roll over there. It's about an hour drive. It's starting to rain and I have a Mustang, which is a terrible combination with me at the wheel, but we'll just see what happens. I think that does it for Sunset GT. Most of the cars are starting to leave because it's raining just a little bit. We'll be cruising there in three, two, one. Tanner Fox's Guaxzilla. What in the Star Trek Batman crossover is this? 